Morning, worldsurvivor.co.uk. This is my solar backup system. It's uh, contained in a nice little plywood box I made. It's easy, easy to construct, it's just made of screws and uh, plywood just off the shelf. Here's the Solar 30. This is an eBay bought cheap, affordable uh, solar charge controller. Um, if you just go through its features. Got the main voltage at the minute, which is the battery pretty much it's not quite max volts at the minute. It's almost there, it goes up to 13.7 volts. On here is just the outside temperature through this sensor here, which uh, just measures the ambient temperature in the room. Uh, it's drawing in off the solar panels. I've got 2.7 amps coming in at the minute. It's a fairly cloudy day, a bit of broken sunshine. This works really well. Um, I've only got 180 watts of panels. Like I said, this is just the backup emergency system they're using. Just trying it out, and it's um, it's working really well. Two years, no problems whatsoever. Um, this just charging from overnight while I've been using external lighting. Uh, so go through the features again. It's actually gone up to uh, 4.2 now, so the sun's just come out. Obviously, uh, no load, which is coming off here. There's no load at all coming off it at the minute. Uh, it's the amp hours since I reset it. And that's just 121 amp hours. It's drawn. Um, and then it's just the switch turn off uh, time 13.7 is where it switches off and just then balances it's a pulse with modulation solar 30 also for the money uh, I come in it's about 30 pounds or something it's very cheap and affordable and it's just worked flawlessly for me so I recommend this one it's the one with the, uh, the round buttons on there's other people who read those on YouTube but if you go for this model it's excellent it really is good uh, down here I've just got uh, just some analog amp meter and voltmeter. Uh, I've got those as a backup. I have got here which is a GT Power. I'm going to focus it actually. It's a GT Power um, monitor and it, it works. I'm surprised actually. I've looked at lots of reviews on them, different ones, and this one uh, seems to come out fairly good, fairly accurately. So um, it's reading there, it's a slight difference between the charge control and this one, but here we've got 13.17, like I said, it's just recharging, um, and it's brought in, it's maxed out actually in 99 uh, amp hours, it doesn't go any higher than that, it has to be reset, it's only meant to be a monitor, but I've got it on uh, constantly monitoring the system, so it's uh, just so I can see what happens. The side I've got... Uh, this is a Sealy, it's a 600 watt pure sine wave uh, inverter. Um, I've had that about six months. Again, that's worked without any problems whatsoever. It's quite highly uh, recommended. Um, it does work very well. You'll see, when I switch on the inverter, you would just see the load come through, just so you can see it on the GT Power. I'll just put it on there. Okay, that's starting to draw. They'll, they'll come down as it balances out. I've got an external light couple of lights on it actually so um, as that route settles and comes down you'll see the amp, amp draw on it there this focusing is a nightmare uh, it's 1.88 amps um, the draw on it is slightly higher than expected if I take out the lights um, just from the side you'll see that's what so that's what it's running at that's just without any load on it that's just running so it's 0.7 amps draw which actually for a small system like I've got here, I'm only just running it as a test basis just off this uh, battery I bought here. Uh, it's an 85 amp hour um, matted glass I think it is uh, battery. So it's, uh, it's good for portable use, it's got a nice handle on it. It's got a monitor there, so you can see whether it's fully charged or not. This is mainly meant as a portable system so I can just take this wherever I needed it. Uh, if I go away or need uh, power somewhere else, um, I just take the system away. And I've got power wherever I go then, in emergencies. Obviously I can just disconnect the panels, take the panels down, which takes about five minutes. Close this box up, take it away, and I've got portable power. It's a nice little backup system. I was going to increase this again. This is not the best battery, I've got to say. Um, for optimal use on a, a backup power system, um, it's fine. But if you're going to use it every day, these batteries are not a good idea. Um, I'll go more into the batteries later, but um, yeah, it works fine. It's doing it fine in the minute, but it's not going to last long, I don't think, on the loads I'm putting through it. 
I'm also running um, like TVs and stuff off it uh, now and again just to try it out. Up here on this, these, this is just a, it's in the switch on at the minute. Basically, this is a cutoff switch for um, a second battery system, which is then held within here underneath. Um, this has two separate lithium ion batteries, voltmeters for each of those. Um, so if I take the system away and I haven't got the ex other external battery, I can just uh, switch on these ones and use the power already stored inside it. I top them up from the uh, the uh, other battery, so they charge off that battery. So it's a separate thing. So I can have, basically have the box completely self-contained in here. I can just pick it up and go, just connect the panels and I've got power. And it's, um, it works out quite well. And there's 40 amp powers on those two batteries, so it give me a bit of backup power if I needed it, if I need to go quickly. Um, Solar panels up on the roof. Uh, I'll, I'll do a separate video review on those. One I'm impressed with, the other one's not so good. But a lot of people do reviews on the different solar panels. And that's basically my system as a brief overview. Um, it, it does work well. It does work well. There's all different types of options. On the side here, actually, I forgot to mention this. This is a. Just let me get the cables out of the way. This is just a standard uh, car setup. It's a 12 volt um, out on there of the car. Actually, I've got a, another inverter over here. You can just plug in. So you just plug that one in. That gives you another inverter that's portable, so I can disconnect the other one. This is a much lower draw on as well. I think it's only 75 watts output. However, it's an emergency and just there's a little bit of lighting, etc. It's very good. Um, on the side here, we've just got one and I think a 2.1 amp. Um, outlet for USB, so I charge phones, iPods, all that sort of stuff on it on the go. You can also get um, nice little USB lamps. Actually, you've hardly any draw in them, um, so you can have lighting and power, phones, everything portable. Just put it in the back of the car. You can even carry this thing; it's not heavy. And um, yeah, you've got power on the go. Really nice little um, system. Really pleased with it. I'm very happy. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail on the inverter and the aspects. I'll go into more detail on the batteries. This inverter works very well. I'll do another separate review on that later. And the solar panels as well. So stay tuned. Uh, visit the website worldsurvivor.co.uk if you get a chance. Um, just get it up and running. And um, yeah, we'll build a nice little community. You have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will see you soon.